In this video, we'll be looking at how to design a Christmas carol service flyer in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hey everybody, Innocent here. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button if you're old here. Thank you so much for coming back again. So here are the resources that I'll be using in this particular tutorial. I'll link them in the description. In case you want to get any of them and you follow suit now let's jump into photoshop i'll start off by creating a new document and i'm going to use 4x4 social media size you can use a3 or a4 it definitely works out so you click ok and then you have this particular size over here i'm going to do this real quick so i'm going to add a solid color to this i'm using this particular color code and then i go ahead and i'll click ok so next off i'll go into my resources and i'm going to bring in this free snow overlay so i'll drag and drop it on top of the solid color and then i'm going to open it up like this till it fills the whole of this one and then i'm going to right click and rasterize the layer i'll go to the blending mode over here and then i'm going to change that one to soft light so i have this over here and then i'm going to set the opacity around 67 something way below there and then i'll go to filter and then i'm going to add a gaussian blur to it so you can blur it up to the size that you want but i think we just have to maintain this 12.7 and then i'll click ok so moving on i'll go back to the resources and i'm going to bring in this christmas background so i'll place it on top of my document and then i'm going to position it on top here I just need this tree around here so the rest i'm just going to brush them off okay so what i do is i right click and then i rasterize the layer i right click on the blending options and i set it to soft light and then i'm going to add a layer max to this because i told you i just need the trees around here so i'm going to pick my brush make sure that i have my foreground color to be black and then i'm going to increase the brush because i'm just getting rid of all this side so i just get rid of this side and then i'll use my move tool to drag them up a little bit like that so that is it and i can decrease the opacity a little bit so that it wouldn't be all that bright and then i'll go back to my resources again i'll bring in this particular christmas ornament and then i'll position that one over here as well so it is going to be a little bit small and I'll position it at the top left over there. So the Christmas ornament is going to be there. Then I double click on it and I'm good to go. Next off, I'll bring in this Christmas tree right over here. So all these are part of the background. I'm just establishing the background. So I bring it over here and then I'm going to drag it to the right side. I'll decrease it up or transform it down a little bit to have this one over here. You just have to go a little bit like that and then i'll double click on it when i'm done now next off i need a rectangle on top over here but instead of using the normal rectangle from the thumbnail you can see that i have a very rough edges over there so to help me do that i'm going to create a new layer on top of this one i'll go for my polygonal lasso tool this polygonal lasso tool is basically used to make rough sketches okay so i'm going to use that to create that rough edges around my rectangle so i'll start from somewhere around here i might not get exactly what i have in the thumbnail but then if you take your time you're going to get something really nice so when you left click you don't leave the mouse you just have to be drawing just giving it a rough edges like that and then when you get to this point you can come around here and you get back to the initial point where you started so after doing this i'm going to right click and go to fill then i'm going to give it a color you can give it a foreground color but since i have the foreground color to be black i can go for the background which is white but to be on the safer side you just have to click on color and then you choose a color for it and then you click ok when you are done you click ok again and then that is it you have your rough edges rectangle Establish very simple right so moving on i'll come back to this christmas tree and i'm going to shift it to the right side a little bit and i think i have to bring it down like this 
and I'm good to go. So I told you all these are going to comprise of the background. And with this particular layer that we created, you can call it the rectangle or the rough rectangle. To not make it that smooth, you can go to the filter and you can add a little bit of Gaussian blur to it, like 1.2. The more you increase it, remember, the more it blurs out so that it can blend with the background or something like that. But if you don't want it that way, you can obviously leave it like that and we move on. So I'm going to group all these ones and I'm going to press Ctrl G to group them and I'm going to call that one the background. Next off, I'm going to add my text and logo to it. This is the very critical part. I think the background, coming up with the background is a little bit easy, but the test aspect of it has some bevel and emboss and some effect that we're going to apply. So you need to take this part really serious. Now I'm going to pick my test tool and the first test that I'm going to add the name of the church or the organization and I'm going to use the font called Railway. A link to download it will be in the description. So I'm going to use the size 10 and I'm using the semi bold. So with this one, I'm going to use my association and I'm going to press Ctrl A to select all of them. Hit on this toggle character and I'm going to close up this particular leading. So once I have it like this, I'll press Ctrl A and then center it. I make sure that it is centered horizontally. So I have it over here and I can drag this ornament a little bit to the side. And I think this looks good. Now I'll go back to my resources and I have these particular logos over here. I intentionally had to remove the backgrounds and then to place them right over there because I didn't want it to waste much time. So you place the logo of the church or the institution over here and then you make sure that it is also centered. So I have the name of the church and the logos over there. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add the present over here. So I'll select this particular Ghana Methodist student senior, make a duplicate by pressing Ctrl J and then I'll drag it down over here. And I'm going to edit that. So I'll go for my test tool, edit this one, and then I'm going to write present. So I'm going to change the color to yellow, something yellow over here. And then I'll change this one to medium. So I'll press Ctrl T and then I'm going to transform this out a little bit. And it has to be around this side. Now the next thing is going to be the main or the main heading, the main title. That is the nine lessons and carol service. So I'm going to start with the nine lessons and so I'm going to pick my test tool and then I'm going to start right from here. So I'll change the color first of all to white. At this point, I'm going to take my time to bring this out so that you can get the whole concept very clearly. So I'm not going to speak that fast. Forgive me if I sound boring. So I click OK and then I'm going to change this particular one to a font called Hevetica Insert. A link to download it will be in the description as well. So I'm going to change the size because of the resolution that I'm using. I'm going to change the size to 28. So basically I'm going to write nine lessons. And so it is going to read nine lessons and carol service but then i prefer to make it nine lessons and and i'll bring the rest that is the carol service beneath of it so let's move on i'm going to bring this one over here press ctrl a and make sure that it is centered horizontally now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select my test tool again select the whole of this one go to this create warp test over here and then i'm going to click on that one when you click on the style here, you can have a different or a bunch of things that you can actually apply. But with this one, I'm going for this particular one called the arc upper or the upper arc. So when you select it automatically, you see that your test is going to be lifted up and then you're going to decrease the bend. You don't touch the horizontal or the vertical. You just decrease the bend to about 22 or 23 22 worked out best for me so i'm going to type in 22 and i'll click ok now from here i'm going to change my color 
to red so i change this color to red and then i'm going to click ok and then i'll use the move tool to bring this one a little bit down over here now from this point you're going to add a couple of blending options to this and you have to be very critical about this particular area so you right click on this one you go to the blending options and you're going to add about four different layer style to this one or probably three so the first one that we're going to add is the bevel and emboss so you take the bevel and emboss first one you, you can do is you can tick to apply it and then you click on it to actually change the structure okay so the first one that we're going to do is this one you don't touch it it, it is inner bevel the technique is already smooth and then the depth i'm going to increase that one up to 184 so i'm going to type this one in and the size i'm just going to increase it by one that is six this is the most important part the gloss contour over here so you click on the gloss contour and you're going to choose this one called the ring double so when you choose the ring double you can see that it has changed the look of the test what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple of changes to this one so we're going to set this one to minus 122 but then if you chose a different resolution you might want to play around with this angle over here you can just drag them to see which one works really best for you i don't know which one is going to impress you but then minus 112 worked out for me so i do that and then i'm going to decrease this opacity to around 44 or 40s that is 44 45 any one of them that works out very fine for you so this is going to be for the bevel and emboss now we move ahead to the next style that we want to add and that is going to be the stroke so you click on the stroke and then it activates it we are not going to do much over here we're just going to change the color to white and then you click ok and then we're going to increase this one to about seven or eight or nine any one that works out fine for you next off we move to outer glow and then we're going to change this one to the red color because we want it to have some glow outside of it and then we're going to change this one to the normal mode and you're going to increase the size a little bit so that it brings out some glow behind it so you can increase the more you increase it the more and brighter it becomes so i would like to keep mine around 23 24 and i think that looks good for me so these are the three basic styles that we are adding to the nine lessons and and we click ok and we are done with the nine lessons so you tick over here to make sure that this is closed the panel is closed and you can use your move tool to move this one a little bit down like that the next one that we are going to add will be the carol service and that one we're going to still make use of the hevetica insert so i select that and i'll start to type out something but i'm going to change the color to white and i'll click ok and i'm going to make sure that I have my size to be around 30 and 36 over there and I'll hit enter and then I'm going to write my caro service so once I'm done with this I take my time to position it around here and I'll press ctrl a and make sure this is aligned very at the center and I'll press ctrl d to deselect that one so just like we did for the nine lessons and we're going to do the same for the Cairo service so I'll pick my test tool and then I'm going to select the whole of this one so I'll double click on it or you triple click to select the Cairo service and then you go to the create warp test over here so you click on it and then you're going to give it a style so this time around you're going to choose this one called the bulge I don't know whether it's bulge or but however you pronounce it so we're going to decrease the bend over here so you come down to the size that looks good for you but I think 11 12 looks better let's go for 12 11 and then you're good to go so you bring this one down a little bit so basically this is shooting up and this one the middle is up a little and the very edges the ending edges are a little bit down i think this looks good let's right click on it and go to add some blending options so this time around we're going to add again 
bevel and emboss so you choose the bevel and emboss and this is going to be an outer bevel so we want the bevel outside of the test so you select the outer bevel and then the technique we don't want it that smooth we want it a chisel hard so we're going to choose chisel hard and i'm going to decrease the size to about three over here and then i come down to the gloss contour so basically the first one that we chose is still there so we don't touch it just go to the gloss contour and we're going to pick the same ring double and it gives this one this awesome look over there every other thing remains the same we just go to the gradients here and we're going to add a gradient the normal gradient on it but then we're going to decrease the opacity very low to about 13 14 15 i think 14 looks good and then i'll click ok so that will be it for the carol service so we read nine lessons and carol service and that is it the next one i'm just going to duplicate this present over here bring it down and then i'm going to edit that one too any other test you want to put over there but basically this that is going to be our last service for the semester so the last service for the semester and then you press ctrl t to transform it out like that and you can push it down a little bit over here so from here i think we are almost through with this particular design the last thing that we're going to add will be the date and then the venue and to do that i'm going to select my test tool and i'm going to use this font called big noodle titling a link to download it will be in the description so the date actually the date is going to be 15th but then for the sake of this tutorial the date is going to be 24th december 2019 and then i'm going to select it or let me add the time straight to it so 24th december and then you add the time probably say 6 a.m or anytime you just want to add and then you select it all and then you can pick this particular color over here something reddish but not all that red so we come around this area let's use this one and you click ok so you press ctrl t and then you transform it like that you press ctrl a and you center it horizontally so you bring it down like this and then you're going to press ctrl j to duplicate that one drag it down and you're going to type in the venue so i'm going to change the color to this dark blue over here and i'm going to click ok press ctrl t and i'm going to transform it or resize it a little bit smaller like that and i'll double click on it so i'm going to open up the date and time also a little bit smaller and then i'm going to select the two drag them over here i can group that one and make sure that it is centered and i can right click again and ungroup the layers so the final thing that i'm going to add would be in the background on top of this layer i'm going to add the last one here that is going to be this green snowy tree png and then i'm going to place it somewhere around here so i'm going to transform it to be smaller and i'll drag it over here decrease the opacity so that it cannot be that visible and i think we are done with it so finally the lens flare that we're going to add let's close this up a little bit we push it up small like that and on top of this one you're going to add your lens flare so this is the lens flare that i used and i'm going to drag it inside of photoshop like that and i'll leave it over here double click on it right click and then you rasterize it you go to the blending mode and then you set this one to screen so it is going to bright over here and then you press ctrl t to transform it to this side like that and then you go to the filter gaussian blur and then you're going to blur it out a little bit now since we don't want it to be around the whole of this area we're going to add a layer max to it and then we're going to brush off the areas that we don't really like so you can brush this area off like that so i'm just going to brush this area as well any parts that we don't really like and then i decided to just duplicate it to make it shine the more 
so basically that's it you can group the rest of your layers over here and you call it say a test and effect so test and effect over there and that is it you're done with your flyer anytime you want to change any of them you just have to open your group and then you change anything that you want to change basically that's it thank you so much let me know about your thoughts about this particular flyer and trust me it's almost vacation so more content will be coming your way especially when it comes to flyers and banner designs and other things stick around and don't forget to subscribe and share this video again thank you so much for 7000 let's get to 10,000 very soon and hopefully by the end of next year let's get to 50,000 subscribers it starts by you recommending and sharing this video to somebody that is going to help the person as well thank you so much for sticking around i'll get back to you with another video it's innocent here and bye